In 2016, my contract at KLFY TV 10 in Lafayette was up and I decided to move on after two years as a news and sports reporter. I really enjoyed living in Lafayette and met a lot of amazing people. I also learned a lot about being a journalist, working the night shift for some time, and covering various tragedies and crime. And I'll always be amazed at how resilient the human spirit is. I also had a lot of fun covering sports. I'll always root for the Louisiana Rage and Cajuns. And there's really nothing like the rumble of Death Valley on a Saturday night. In September, I started my first on-air job as a 5 p.m. co-anchor at KALB News Channel 5 in Alexandria. A string of explosions that began Saturday night in Manhattan's Chelsea neighborhood injured more than two dozen people. My boss is my journalism teacher from Louisiana College. He's the person who basically pushed me in front of the camera and helped me discover a talent I never knew I possessed. It's also fun to work with someone I've admired and looked up to for many years. Chickens are cute, but I, I don't know if I would kiss one. I would eat one, though. <laughs> I'm no longer a sports reporter, but this season I did get to help out with the fifth quarter, our high school football show. Our own Lydia Magianis joins us now with Tioga head coach Kevin Cook. Thanks, guys, and it was a battle of undefeateds here tonight between two of the best programs in the state in 4A. Besides anchoring, I also cover stories out of Vernon Parish and Fort Polk. I've met a lot of amazing people, veterans, and artists. I lived happily ever after in the land of Colonel Never fail. <laughs> and it's really special to me to be able to work in a place I consider part of my home. I've also learned a lot about the Army and how soldiers train covering Fort Polk. And this year I also got to fire a weapon for the first time.